Hey guys, it's Gustav from Gone Tracking. Welcome to another adventure. This week I'm out with the family during school holidays and we're visiting Emanzini Country Resort just outside of Freda, nestled on Freda Dam. Let's quickly show you what the place looks like and then we're going to tell you about our activities. Some bar facilities, some nice eating area, bra areas, beautiful blue pool. If you have a look, just behind the pool, nestled amongst the little forest, you have different uh, chalets that you can hang out at nice play areas you can literally stay here and see everything in one go but you know us we come out with the, the trailer at the bottom you'll see there's our trailer Oops, there it is right next to the water we just had to leave some space for our rods on the back big open area to play cricket and a stage built about 20 years ago when Steve Hofmeyer came to perform here we have quite a concert Steve Hofmeyer open area to braai fishing in the background sounds like a great plan to me let's have a look at the rest of the resort the other night one you're going to get here later and I'll be in the moon to bra pretty thankful for this because it is freezing and uh, we had a spaghetti bolognese heated up on the fire Nice for coffee. It's actually been awesome. Thanks, Mom. Good morning. It's our first morning out. Up before the others are still sleeping, but I did want to get something into the water. So, a uh, bit of a disaster in the packing on the fishing side. The trailer's pretty well stocked, but I thought I still had a bag of corn or maize meal there. Nothing. So, uh, this morning I've improvised a little bit. I took out a, a white bun, um, mashed that up with some water. Also had a couple of willies left, uh, maize uh, corn willies, so I broke those up and worked it in, massaged it until I have something I can use to get my feeding spot going. Um, it's gonna won't bliss or won't break apart very quickly, but that's fine. So um, I've got two floaties on that are barely stuck into the sides, so we can just uh, get those going and not tangling on the way down. And then uh, we hope for the best. Hopefully. We wake everybody up with an alarm screaming. That'll be an awesome morning. Let's get this run of the water and we'll catch a fish outside. Over and above the normal holiday resort type feel, the facilities here include a chapel, wedding area and reception hall. I think it's a pretty unique setup. Might appeal to some people. Getting married on the rocks in the sort of farm feel next to the water. You can see the reception area on this side. Whole facility. For you and your guests to hang out at. Very well kept, nice and clean. Vanity area with extra stools, large bath, extra seating or table to put everything, and the shower. So, yeah. if you are here, you can use the shower. Just stuff outside because that shower doesn't have space for your clothes, but go use it. Massages you over the long day. Lots of warm water, it's awesome. Right, good evening. The uh, wind is howling, so speak nice and loud. Hopefully you hear me, I left the mouse at home. So, dinner tonight, so actually forward to that. So, right, so it's chicken, pre-marinated, almost, almost finished. Then, savory rice. Savory rice is from McCain. So, savory rice is from McCain. Get in the packet, it takes about seven minutes. And it's cooked, so it's nice and healthy. Chicken and rice. Looking forward to it. Really hope something runs. But um, I just want to show you while we're busy how dark it is here because there's no light. That's the beautiful water. The view to stargazing. This is the place to be watching the satellites last night. Great camping spot. Um, if it's a clear night, not like today where it's cloudy, you can see all the stars. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, we hope you catch up tonight, but if you don't, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. So, uh, survived the night, it was just very windy, 
but uh, the cold was fine. We got some proper sleeping bags, so no one really found that, which is awesome. But uh, now it's the next morning. We all ended up sleeping late. The wind was howling this morning, so we just said, you know what, third day, we're not in the mood for the wind. Um, there it goes now. So what I did is I've moved um, everything into the kitchen area, sort of hiding away from the wind. Um, made a couple of uh, adjustments just so we can get breakfast going. Gade and I took a walk today around the other side of the resort where the day visitors would normally go. And it's like it's sheltered on that side. There's absolutely no one still here. Maybe it's because they knew about the wind, I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish our breakfast, nice bacon and eggs, warm coffee, a couple of buns, and then we're going to move as day visitors to the other side. We're going to cast out there and see if the quieter water and uh, some shelter just makes the day much more pleasant. We really have to make the most of today. According to the weather forecast, tomorrow um, afternoon it looks like there's rain coming in and then Friday it's going to be raining. So we're going to really do as much as we can today and tomorrow is going to be packing up there. Uh, we'll just have to skip on Friday. Anybody who's gone out on trips like this knows packing up in the rain is horrible, especially when you have to reset up everything at home just to get it dry again. So um, we're going to make the most of today, show you guys what we're up to, definitely show you the venue and yeah, let's, let's hope for a wonderful, beautiful day. See you guys later. Right, so if you can still hear the wind blowing, it's at that time. We've uh, already set up a couple of things outside. I'm the last one to move down. It's pretty close by, so if I toggle this back, just below those ablutions on that side is actually where we're heading, so you can see them. Uh, it's not that far to walk. I'm gonna grab my stuff and take a walk. Good morning. It is the morning of day three. So last night was beautiful. I mean, this week started with just a hectic, hectic wind. We couldn't uh, really catch anything at all. It was miserable being outside. Marcus was very upset with this wind and cold. And uh, yesterday it started clearing in the morning. Last night was beautiful. We sat outside, we sang songs, we just enjoyed the fire. Um, it was just oh, it was just lovely. Um, this morning, Lu and I were up early, got to watch the sunrise, no wind to, to speak of. Got the kettle on, it's almost ready for a nice cup of coffee. Uh, I've got our rods in and it's another day. So definitely looking forward to today. Um, if the weather's going to stay like this, I think we're going to be in for a cracker and they're looking forward to some good fishing and just being outside yeah. are you happy you sleep well i did sleep well new stretches and uh sleeping bags working yeah okay good right we'll see you guys during the day we're still sitting outside trying to figure out what works to summarize quickly the first two days had gale force winds freezing cold sudden change in temperature they didn't see any fish on the surface at all um, and that's on both sides so uh, we tried to go deep um, used our basic rigs tried sweet stinky uh, dough floats pop-ups um, left the pop-ups and corn overnight uh, with the alarms the night that the wind wasn't blowing uh, nothing in fact it looked like we were fishing at the ocean because our tips just kept on going like this so today's been beautiful mm. it's been absolutely stunning but Still no fish, so I don't think they've adjusted a little bit. We have at least seen movement on the surface, very tiny, nothing like impressive. I definitely haven't seen any carp break surface, um, which is a little bit depressing because we've come for some nice carp. 
Um, there's no angling pressure because there's absolutely no one here. But uh, this willow and us have been our home now for a day and a half. It's absolutely beautiful. And other than not catching a fish, can't complain. It's a pretty nice place, this. Let's have a look. That is our view. There are my rods. Not doing anything. But the view is good, the company is good. Happy place. Now it's cold again, so it does affect fishing, and it's just one of those things. Personally, I enjoyed the place. It was strange to have an entire resort to yourself, but I personally enjoyed it. I like the peace and quiet. I like the facilities, it's clean, and I think if you're in this area, it's worth coming through. Taylor, hmm? did you like it? I did. Why, it's, didn't you like? That there are no people and that there, are, there is wind. The wind. Yeah. Right, so not the resort. The resort itself is great, it's just the wind and... No people. And no people. I like no people. The wind, did you have fun? Yes, I did. You rate the place? It's nice? Yeah, it's nice. All right. Well, Marcus can't come in today. He couldn't wait for us to finish packing. He's sleeping. So I'm going to shift into his travel chair now so that we can drive in safety. And uh, we're off. Guys, remember to go tracking. We'll see you at the next venue. Cheers.